In this video, let us see how to generate the subtitles in DaVinci free version. I am saying the free version of the DaVinci, not the DaVinci Studio. So I'm going to show you how to generate the subtitles in this DaVinci free version. Normally, if you want to generate the subtitles using the AI option in DaVinci, you will have to subscribe to the DaVinci Studio. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this without using the DaVinci Studio. See, actually, I was editing a video and I thought, how can we generate the subtitles? So I have somehow managed to do this. So that's why I thought of making a video to show you how to generate the subtitle here for free. Here, this is the normal uh, DaVinci editor here. You can see I have a video player here. And uh, let's see how to generate it. Normally, if you want to generate this in free version, you can't do that. You consider DaVinci Resolve built-in doesn't have the A subtitle generation. It's only available in the DaVinci Studio version. And the Studio versions cost around maybe 29,000 here you can say 29,000 rupees so let's see how to do this uh, without using this DaVinci Studio for this we're gonna use a uh, extension called the uh, auto subs I'm gonna show you how to download that let's open up a new tab and here just type auto subs DaVinci here you can see you have a link here let me open up this link now so let me open up this here you can see a power uh, subtitles for DaVinci Resolve you can think of this as a extension and this supports 50 plus languages and it has uh, 6 plus A models basically how it will work is it will download a A model locally and it will run the model locally on your PC you consider A processing locally so just click on this download button actually I have already downloaded this you consider let me close this one I have already downloaded this you can see here I have this software let me open up this now and uh, you consider here I have this software let me install this now that let me double click on this and let me click on next here click on next now just click on next 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 and install normally as you install any other software and now the software has been completely installed just click on next here you can see it provides a, a guidance on how you can uh, use the auto subs this auto subs in DaVinci so don't worry I will show you exactly how to do that let me close this one let me open up the DaVinci now here you can see this is the one here if you click on workspace and if you click on scripts you can see that here we have the auto subs and before that let's select the area that we want to generate the subtitle if you want to generate the subtitle for the full video you can do that but if you want to generate the subtitle for your particular section or particular uh, minutes you can do that as well for that so let me select the in time so this is the in time just just press i now and this is the in time and select the out time so and place the cursor over there and uh, press the O and press the O there so let me place the cursor over here and let me press O now you consider now the region has been selected I want to generate subtitles for this region only so now the region has been selected right then what we can do is let me go to the workspace now let me click on workspace and uh, click on scripts and select the auto subs here you can see that now the auto subs has been opened successfully and you can see this is the subtitle that I have generated for the previous video so don't worry about that and the accuracy is also pretty good I will show you one by one so here you have to select the audio track so make sure you select the audio track that is without any BCM you consider this is the audio track here that is the A2 that is audio 2 let me uh, choose the audio 2 now not audio 1 and if you scroll down and uh, you can select the output track so actually we can select the output track as well where we want to place a subtitle uh, file to let's create a new uh, uh, video file track now so actually here we have two tracks right let me delete this one now so let me click on delete track let's also delete this track let's create a new track now let me right click i'm gonna add a track called the let me rename these two subtitles here we're gonna place the subtitles over here and uh, let me go to the auto subs one more time the output track will be so actually it is not updated here let me close this uh, software now and i'm gonna reopen it now so let me close this one let's click on workspace click on script uh scripts and select the auto subs here for the output track select the subtitles that we have created now subtitle tracks and for the base template here select the default template if you want to customize this you can do that as well i will show you how to do that in the later part of this video for now select the default template and for the input language select the english here uh, we ha you have other options as well so leave that as default and for the a model if you click on this model you can see there are six models available or tiny model base model small model depending on your laptop configuration choose choose the one accordingly so if you have more ram you can choose the larger model but if you are having a minimum ram like 4 gp or 8 gp so either select the base model or the small model only so i'm gonna select the 
a base model now actually i have already downloaded this so let me select this small model either you can select the small model or the base model and uh, for the subtitle line rules actually per line we have a 34 characters you can also customize this if you want so i'm gonna leave this as default and for the case text case i'm gonna leave this to normal not uppercase and uh, if you want to or censor any sensitive words you can uh, words here that you want to censor it and once you have configured everything then what you can do is just click on start transcription first basically it will uh, extract the audio first because it will extract the audio then it will uh, work on the transcription and if you look at the background you consider currently it is now exporting the audio now it is exporting the audio files once it has exported the audio file it will generate the transcription that is the subtitles currently it is uh, processing right just give you a few minutes it will take you consider trans transcription progress deserializing uh, progress now the transcription has been uh, generated so here if you want to uh, edit you can just click on continue edit or if you want to add this to timeline directly you can do that let me click on edit here you consider this is the uh, subtitle that is generated for that one minute so once you have uh, finalized everything you can click on add to timeline i will show you how to edit this if there is any mistakes now if you go to the DaVinci now, let me minimize this, you consider now the subtitles has been placed over here and it is placed in the subtitles uh, track, you consider now we have the subtitles right and uh, yeah this is how you generate the subtitles freely in the free version of the DaVinci, if you want to edit some parts of the subtitle just click on that uh, subtitle uh, element and here you can change the text, actually this is in this video not next video and yeah. This is how you generate the subtitle uh, in the free version of the DaVinci. Actually, the subtitle accuracy is also pretty good. You consider I am not changing anything here. Actually, it is very accurate. Since we are, even though we are using the base model, the subtitle is uh, very good. And it depends on the entirely depends on the speaker's pronunciation and the English audio clarity that you have. Actually, this is not objection. I have another error editor. This is not objection. Or uh, this is updates and so other than this I don't have any errors here consider for the one minute I have only made two changes now other than that everything is fine so yeah this is how we generate the subtitle in the free version of the DaVinci so if you want to export this just go to the export tab and uh, you can export this as well and if you want to create a custom subtitle you can also do that here just create a custom element and you can simply customize this here you can customize the text and you can select this uh, customized sort of font in the subtitle here you can see that if you go to the template now here you can see instead of base template you can select your customized template and uh, if you want to export this you can also export the video here currently I have the subtitle but if you want to customize even further you can do that so this is for this video and i will continue in the next one